Okay, here she is, all completed, all completed cat and magnolia. And wow, what an absolute pleasure this was from the very beginning of kitting it up to to where it is now, the finished project. I didn't do that many alterations to it at all. It was just gorgeous right out of the gate. I mean, it was just spectacular. I actually uh, decided to keep it for myself. It was supposed to be a gift, but it ends up that my girlfriend wanted something completely different, and I'm grateful because this is going to look so good in my kitchen, absolutely beautiful. So this was Cat and Magnolia. The artist is Robert Niento. The, uh, there was how many colors? There was 32 colors. There were three ABs. And um, this is approximately 22 by 31. I will be framing it on a wood frame. The, uh, as you can see, the rendering is absolutely spectacular. You don't have to be that far back for it to really take shape. I'm about three feet away right now, and you can see that it's just absolutely just stunning. Uh, the ABs were in the in the leaves. They were in the cat. They were in the cat, and a little bit in the actual magnolia itself. Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of streams of of. ABs in the actual magnolia flowers. If you look down here, there's a there's a beautiful red color L. It's color 150, an absolutely gorgeous red color. It wasn't so much in the top part of the top part of the canvas, but I did I did add it here just to balance it out a little bit because I put it on the wall and I was kind of looking at where it I always put it on the wall and look at it for a few days to see if I want to put any changes in there, if something needs to be removed. Uh, and so I looked at it a little bit. I'm like, you know what? It really does need that pop of red to balance it out because this really, really popped a lot, a lot. So uh, I the, the issues that I had with the canvas was with the drills. Um, the drills in the, the, what color is this? The, 820 and the 310 it had a lot of a decent amount of junk not bad I mean seriously not too bad but uh, the drills had were slightly different sizes so I don't know if you'd be able to see but if I can figure out my technology if I can figure out my technology then I will show you in little pictures how some drills were just a fraction of a millimeter smaller than the other one. So I think it was a combination of old drills and new drills. And so that meant that they just didn't fit up snugly up against one another. Also in this area, uh, there were uh, symbols that were very similar to one another. So down here, like this symbol here, this, uh, this, the hashtag, the hashtag and this, uh, nuclear kind of nuclear <laughs> kind of symbol. We're right next to each other in this in this area, so it just took a little while. Just took a little bit more to make sure that I was placing it right. Other than that, uh, I enjoyed every single minute, and I really my husband, who's not a fan of of um, diamond painting, the end result. He loves it because I keep quiet at night while he's watching his YouTube and all his conspiracy theory stuff. Uh, so he loves that part of it, but he said this is actually one that is worth hanging in our kitchen because of the bright colors. He loves the bright colors. I also like the image and this cat, this cat just hanging out in the background, absolutely spectacular. So uh, if I have an opportunity to, if somebody, if a friend comes over and says they would, they would love to have this, I would love the opportunity to do it again. It was just incredible. So thank you, Diamond Art Club. Thank you, Robert Nieto, for. Uh, for coming up with such a beautiful, beautiful canvas. Uh, I just can't give it, I just can't give it more thumbs up. I mean, the only fault were those, there was different size drills. In the future, all those old ones will be gone. It'll just be new ones and it'll be absolutely perfection. So thank you. Have a glorious day.